I have to say, this episode of Boku no Hero was absolutely incredible. This obstacle race, it ended in this episode, but it was pure and utter hype. I mean, Deku himself, he has insane powers, but he can't use his power. So this obstacle race, he was at a horrible disadvantage. Some could even say he was probably at the worst disadvantage because he couldn't use his powers in any way. So he had to rely solely on just his physical abilities, which granted, he did train with All Might pretty damn hard in Season 1. So he does have good stamina, good strength, but he has nothing past that. And to watch how he overcomes the obstacles in this race was absolutely hype. Literally grabbing a piece of the metal from one of these robots and literally kind of using it as a shield to cross the minefield, but he realizes, you know, everyone's kind of tiptoeing. They can't use their powers because they might trigger these mines. Granted, the mines won't kill them, but they would literally throw them flying. So what he does is so brilliant, and this is why I like Deku as a character. He's a character with insane strength. We know he's going to become like one of the greatest heroes of all time. Like, it gets said like every single episode this is the story of how he became the greatest hero like that always happens but it's watching him build up to that you're not watching this overly cliched protagonist who is super badass or super wimpy he's that guy who has the spirit he has the drive to help people which separates him from every other hero in this series because they are all about the fame that's kind of what drives these heroes is their ratings but Deku's always been he just cares about helping people and even All Might says this he thought that this would be his downfall but in fact it wasn't because we see what he's going to do he literally digs up all these mines uses the metal slams down and uses it as like a cannon to fire himself away and just as it looks like he's probably going to be passed by the other two he does just another grand like explosion to get into first place and literally takes first place in the obstacle race when he absolutely shouldn't have when you look at how everything started out just watching that the moment when he wins it gave me like chills like honestly i was like holy hell i am so happy for this character like Deku is not my favorite character of the season he's not even i guess you would probably say he's probably my favorite character in this series next to all my but still he's not like a character like i'm overly attached to but i love what he does for the series he feels like the perfect lead for this series like he is overpowered if he could use his powers but he can't yet so i like that he has this insane strength but he has to build up to be able to use it but also it's his will and his drive and he's able to think on the fly like he's claiming it was all luck that he won but it is also due to his intelligence being able to think on the spot i have this piece of metal let's use it kind of do something similar to Bakugo like that's really what makes this character shine so damn much is because of how smart he is without even really knowing it but to the very end when you see because it's the top 42 I believe of the people who finished this obstacle race they rank from five points up and it keeps getting higher and higher and the way this last part of the, the kind of trial is going to be going is this like chivalry battle and it's literally <laughs> our main character Deku is worth 10 million points I think is what they call it and basically you want to go after the people who are ranked the highest so even if you're at the bottom you could become like the very top if you defeat high ranking opponents Deku being a guy who can't use his power Power, being the highest worth target making me so hyped for next week because literally how is he going to get out of this unless either a he can think on the spot again in a battle or b he can somehow use his abilities he's got to use it in some way like there's no way he's going to get out without using it will he break his bones will he shatter his body probably but i can't wait to see how they handle it just the episode overall from the pure hype and enjoyment level it was awesome but it was also pretty cool to see some of the other heroes and just a quick explanation on their abilities some we've already known but also seeing like the metal man and things like that there's just some cool abilities like even this one girl who gets around the rules you're not allowed to bring things into this obstacle race but if you create it and it works with your costume you're allowed and she literally has like this spider-man kind of get up where she's using like these like uh, grappling hooks and she's getting across the ledge of rocks there's a lot of cool moments with some of the, even the side characters but Deku had to steal the show the animation to the music to just some of the really cleanly and over exaggerated like still shots they did to really get you the, into those hype moments was just absolutely insane and I need to see what happens next week this was a a great little mini arc for the obstacle race there you know they could have done 10 episodes of an obstacle race and they would have made it work because you have superheroes with this but two episodes for this honestly it worked rather well i thought it was very well paced it made you hype it made you feel some emotions and i can't wait to see what they do next week but let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below for manga readers how did you enjoy seeing this animated compared to when you read it in the manga and for anime originals how hyped did you feel when you saw deku win first place because honestly despite him being the main character i wasn't expecting him to get first place because he is so underpowered and just kind of out of his league in this race so let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below and before you leave hit the like button to show your support for your new channel be sure to subscribe so until next time everyone please take care and have a good one